So this is day nine at the Chris Orser uh, retaining wall project and it is uh, complete. Um, the crew got done today. Uh, they installed the retaining wall lights. They uh, graded out anything that had to be graded, put down grass seed so in the spring the grass will be back to the way it was before we started. Um, any grading in the back of the wall has, is done. Um, the lights that were already here are back in place and are working. Um, and just look, look at the color and the, the different size of the stone compared to uh, the beginning with the timber with the timber wall, how it was just rotting away and kind of falling over. Um, just a dramatic, dramatic improvement here um, at Chris Orser Landscape. You can see the juniper kind of cascading over the wall, which just adds a nice little uh, touch to it. Um, as we pan over here, there's some dianthus that in the spring when it grows, that'll, that'll cascade over the wall. Um, at the other end here, more juniper that uh, cascades over. You can see the wall kind of steps down here uh, to grade where there's another um, low voltage light. All the drainage material is buried and tied in with the existing drain. So again, any water um, that's coming down off this hillside when it rains goes into this tube or into the pipe, excuse me, and um, exits out down by the by the street and goes into the sewer. Um, just a really, really nice job. It's uh, natural PA field stones, a great way to go if you're uh, looking to get a retaining wall installed. And like I said, <clears throat> one of the details that we added um, late in the project is this uh, low voltage retaining wall light, which small details like this make make the project. And any Chris Orser uh, landscaping project we do this to um, it's you know as the crew is building it if we see something that it's just a small detail that would add uh, a lot to the project we tell you about it um, and we can always add it in so and this was actually done at cost so um, you know one of one of the, the goals here one of the main goals of Chris Horace for landscaping is to make the client happy to make you happy and uh, the addition of this low voltage light just re really goes a long way and there's five of them throughout this wall so at night um, really lights up the wall and just adds a dramatic effect at, at night too so you can see the wall but uh, as you can see just all the, the different colors and the different size of the stone just really makes for a just a great looking wall when you come outside and and use the back of your property or use your deck or use your outside space um, Really happy with the way the project turned out. Every Chris Orser landscaping project turns out looking great. Um, and that's because of the, the scheduling, the crews, and everybody's coordinated and in sync with one another. Um, client communication is key. So we're uh, constantly calling you and, and, and updating you on just everything that's going on with the project. And this, this project turned out great. And this is uh, February 26th, so you can do hardscaping uh, in the wintertime. Um, day 9 kind of took a little bit longer than we anticipated, um, but that's due to, to weather. Some of the days it was, it was just too cold to come out, some days it was snowing. So um, it, it may take a little bit longer, but you can still... You could still add any patio or retaining wall or anything, any landscape ideas, any landscape projects that you have um, don't need to be pushed back to the spring. We can get it taken care of um, in the wintertime as well. So if you have to get a hold of us, 215-249-1236, uh, or you can visit us on the website at www.orserlandscaping.com. That's www.orserlandscaping.com. But this project really, 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 really turned out great.